All right, so I had some technical difficulties, um, so we're going to pick up where we left off. All right, so if you go up to my account <clears throat> and then profile, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Profile is kind of like the meat and potatoes of your account, okay? So it's very important to get this straight. Um, the primary reason for that is this part right here for uh, username and website, all right? So whenever you um, create your username, uh, that username is what is used for the link for your wet replicated site for when people sign up, okay? <clears throat> so here's the, here's the example of that, all right? So here's my, here's my quick link, all right? Select membership. And you see how it's got my username right here, okay? So what happens is that username is how my account is uh, showing up as presented by, all right? And then um, just to just to kind of illustrate that a little bit further, if anyone else's username is in here, all right? So this is my this is my uplines username right here, all right? Mr. Carl, shout out to you. So now. If I already sign up somebody using this link, then Carl gets credit for it and he gets the commission for it. Um, uh, and if, you know, I'm on his, I'm on his, uh, right side. So if, you know, he has the option to put, put this person on his left or his right. Um, so I could potentially miss out on a commission to my account. Okay. So that's why it's very important to get your links straight whenever you're, um, bookmarking and things like that, make sure that it's the right thing. And if you're ever curious, just scroll down to the bottom of the page. Okay. Um, even though I know my links are right, I still scroll down and just make sure that my name is there. And that is how, um, that's how you make sure that whenever someone signs up, they're doing it under your account. Okay. So that's pretty important. Um, these two phone number and email address, these are also important because by default, they do not show up on the website. Okay. So down here, um, if I don't go set these up correctly, my contact information is not there. And that is why, um, that's why you have to go make sure you set this up. So by default, this box is not shown. Okay. So you want to make sure that this box is clicked and that way that will, sh it will show up at the bottom of that page and people can contact you if they need to. All right. Same thing with your email. Okay. Make sure that this box is clicked before you go do anything else. All right. Um, and again, that just makes sure that your contact information actually shows up here at the bottom of the pages. Um, let's see, password, self-explanatory associate agreement. This is just, um, you, whenever you make commissions and things like that, you have to follow all the tax stuff and government, whatever. Okay. So that's just putting in your tax ID so that they can get, send you the correct tax information at the end of the year. Okay. Shipping address, payment methods. That's all pretty standard. All right. Business builder tools. Let's go talk about what these are real quick. All right. So, um, one of the reasons I like the premier, uh, the premium membership, I'm sorry, is that you pay for all of your technology credits. Plus you get a, you get a higher graded coin and a bullion coin, which is pretty cool. Um, but you also pay for your year's worth of expenses for the technology credits from seven K up front. And I like that personally, because I, I don't get charged 10 bucks a month. I like to just pay it all up front, which is, um, a lot better for, for me, I guess is how I keep up with things. Um, so that's one of the reasons I recommend the premium membership along with the coins. Um, not to say that, uh, you know, you could, you couldn't run a business without it. That's not what I'm saying at all, but just, that's my personal preference. So that's why I do the premium membership. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, the downline Explorer, that's pretty cool. We'll go over that separately. Um, the associate training portal, that's all the trainings from seven K and the, the wealth systems app. We'll go through that as well in later videos. Um, but I just wanted to show you, this is what you get whenever you pay for your, uh, business builder tools and your technology credits. Okay. <clears throat> And also I realized, um, just now that whenever you click the back button, that brings you back to the dashboard, not your profile. Never really noticed that before. Um, but here we are. Okay. <laughs> that's why, that's why it's good to teach things because you learn a lot more than you would unless you were teaching. Okay. All right. So genealogy settings. So, um, real quick, uh, what genealogy is, especially in the network marketing industry. Um, if I sponsored you, Okay. Um, I become your upline and you become part of my downline. Okay. And, 
if you sponsor somebody, then you become their upline and they become your downline. All right. So that's, it's kind of the, the chain of command. And each one of those levels is, is a, is a generation. That's actually where the term uh, multi-level marketing came from is because it talks about the generations of people that, uh, that came into the company and the different levels of sponsorship. So, and really all that means is, uh, as far as seven K is concerned. So seven K made it really easy and, um, using the binary plan, it makes it really easy to understand this. <clears throat> so, um, under genealogy settings, there's this box called the holding tank okay and what that means is whenever someone signs up under you then they will go into what's called your holding tank and your holding tank just gives them a place to go that says okay do you want them on your left side or do you want them on your right side and if it's you know depending on if you're you want to you want to try to keep it as balanced as possible right so that you make the most commissions so if your right side is really killing it but your left side is a little weak maybe the next person you, that you sign on goes on your left side okay um and this just gives you the option that if you know john smith signs up under you then um it'll say left side right side right here okay um See, I, I need you. I need more people to sign up so I can uh, do a video that actually shows this. Um, <clears throat> but actually, one of the things that I wanted to bring up with this is um, this is going to be one of the the criteria that I use for my member of the week program. So um, uh, one of the caveats with this, or the things you just got to be careful about, is a person cannot place anyone on their left side or their right side unless they are placed okay so what i mean by that is if john smith signs up under me and i don't place him immediately on my left side or my right side and he's just kind of chilling in the holding tank then he can't place anybody anywhere if he were to get somebody signed up okay and you don't want to hold up anybody's business business even if they you know maybe they will sign up somebody maybe they won't um, but one of the things I'm going to be looking for is, you know, are you managing your business correctly where people aren't waiting in the holding tank for a day and a half, um, before they're placed. Okay. Because that ends up getting into like, uh, for me personally, okay. That ends up getting into like, if I sign up 40 people, 20 on my left, 20 on my right, well, if somebody's not placed, well, then they miss out on a bunch of the commissions that I could be getting for them. Okay. So, um, that's where the holding tank comes in. If somebody signs up under you, make sure that you're in here and you're you're checking it, and then you place them wherever they need to be placed, um, and then uh, and that's that's going to be one of the criteria I use for my member of the week program, just to make sure that you're managing your business correctly from that standpoint, and it's not and not like you know Scott's checking up on you and your business, but are you treating people right and are you are you actively engaged with the goal team? Okay, um, earnings again. Um, just the earnings that you've made so far. Okay. Um, I've been taking the, the foundational approach, but that I expect that number to be going up here pretty, pretty shortly. Okay. Um, so that is the basics of your, uh, of your profile, but again, very important. Okay. Especially here with your, um, uh, website, username, your phone number and your email address, making sure that you click that display my email on the website and then um, your genealogy settings, making sure that um, if you want to use the holding tank, um, I think it's great. I think everybody should. And then place them as you see fit. Um, you can use the auto place option. That's fine, too. Um, just I think the holding tank is better. <clears throat> and that is roughly it as far as the, the dashboard and the profile um, come into play. Okay. Um, so if you haven't done that already, all right, I want you to... Um, Stop what you're doing right now. I want you to go and set up your profile correctly because that is going to be kind of the basis of everything else that we do. Um, so go get your profile set up. Um, I don't know how, how long I've been talking. I know it's been more than 10 minutes, but hopefully it's not been too long. I just wanted to show you exactly where you need to go to go change all your stuff if you need to. Um, and we'll go from there. So uh, get that done, then go to the next lesson.